Hello, fellow Astro, fellow Hello on YouTube, Brofist, and welcome to another YouTube video of Umer, and this will be the Monk Leveling Guide 90 to 100 in the cave of Frostfire Ridge. So, um, people are asking me location about this cave, so I'm usually on the start, I'm just saying the location. It's uh, either you can Google uh, Broadmother, uh, Broadmother Raika, or Regka, Regak, or whatever it's called, or you can just see the location on my map, or you can just check the coordinates here 63. 0.89, 32.63 or something. That's that will be the location. So um, as also thank you for the follow, man. Welcome, bro. Um, yeah, so the location is there, guys, and uh, the gear that I'll be using here. I mean, first of all, I want to tell you that when you build up your garrison, I'm I'm alliance, right? So I'm running with four potions, four potions. Uh, usually when you build up your garrison and when you finish all the quests that uh, will bring you to this quest, build your barracks, you don't do this quest, you know, because if you, I mean, in order to finish this quest, you need to spend 100, 150 resources uh, to build the barracks, and those resources are really crucial on the start, you know, because you need like two or three potions on the start to start leveling. I'm going with four because I will not give, uh, getting back to Shadow Moon Volley, uh, which is really far away from here. Because, you know, I hate traveling and flying or something, so... I have on the other video how to go as Alliance to Frostfire Ridge. And you can check that on my channel, or you can come to my Twitch and just write exclamation point Frostfire. And the link, it will, it will pop on the chat by Luckfist. That's the bot that I'm using, so... Uh, I... I... Did like 300, I think, or something, uh, garrison resources from the... Uh, or 280 or something, or 300, I don't know how much garrison resources you're getting from the... Completing the starting quest in the garrison, but after that you have uh, garrison cache caches around the the garrison somewhere there, and I killed like three rares across you know uh, close to the garrison. So I basically ended ended up having how much 411 garrison resources, and I bought four potions. You know, yeah. So first thing you need for this leveling is access potion of accelerated learning, right? The second thing you need. <coughs> The second thing you need is the uh, the gear, right? And as well, some some people are asking me, dude, why don't you use banner like guild banner? Because in order to use the guild banner, I mean, on a new created character, if you're not the in in a guild from the start, that uh, and if the guild doesn't have the quest required for you to buy that banner, alarm in random time, right? I know, epic sucks, guys. It it rocks. I know, right? Man, what the fuck is wrong with my, with my earphone here? Anyway, uh, if you don't have the, the the guild, and if the guild don't have the quest, and if you don't have the exalted slash revered reputation for to buy that banner, you will not be able to use that banner. So it it's a lot of requirements uh, for a starters uh, to buy that banner. So I'm making these guides to get used for starters as well, not for pros. You know, some people are asking me, but dude. You can use like 15 other spells. I know that I can use 40 spells, guys, to level up here easier. But I'm trying to explain to you how you can get uh, levels with using the least amount of spells possible. So a uh, real beginner can understand the guides, let's say, you know, like, or medium knowledge guy. So th that's the, uh, I mean, ban that's why I'm not using banner. A lot of requirements uh, to get the banner and it doesn't, I mean, it gives a lot of benefit, but... It's a lot of requirements to make that. If you're not lazy, that helps as well, but I don't wanna overcomplicate the guides of explaining how to get that shit and stuff. Anyway, the second requirement is gear, of course. Uh, the gear that I'm using is a uh, heirloom, head, neck, shoulders, back, chest, legs, and these two heirlooms uh, trinkets that are heal healing you. Every time you kill something, you get healed for 2%. So, uh, you can get all these items from Ironforge or Undercity. And you can buy the upgrade items from there as well, you know. For 15,000 gold, you will get the full uh, heirloom items. And like for 4 or, or 5 or 6k gold more, you will buy the weapon that is really required. I mean, it, it will probably you can get levels without this uh, 6, 4, uh, 630 or without this heirloom, let's say. Or without uh, any other heirloom. But you can check out my video about heirlooms and gear. Real talk about heirlooms is called. Probably it will be like three or four uploads before this video and check it out you will you'll understand my point so the gear i'm using is uh these heirlooms this is a must trinkets 
to uh, you know make it easier for you. Uh, I'm using the 630 weapon that I bought from Auction House. Only thing you need to uh, look when you're buying the weapon is the price. So if the price tick is like 5k, only because the the stats, the secondary stats like mastery, multi strike, is what you need. Don't buy the 5k stuff. Buy just the, the most cheapest one. The only thing that, that you need to look when you buy these weapons and all these items is to have agility on because agility is what you need and stamina of course but you cannot really have agility without stamina so it's pointless to mention that uh, I, I bought wrist as a second 640, uh, 640 item so you can wear only three crafted items that you can buy from auction house I bought the most cheapest one you can choose between buying gloves waist foot uh, I mean feet uh, fingers and uh, wrist right so I bought the most cheapest one the most cheapest were wrist and finger and then I just filled up the other uh, gear, uh, gear slots with uh, some random green items that are the most item level that you can get for like normal price like 200 300 gold per piece is not really anything that will provide you speed for leveling anyway so that's the gear I'm using so three crafted items one uh, weapon is really important for you to uh, have enough uh, speed and uh, other things are um, trinkets and, and heirloom items that is also really important stuff. Other than that, uh, I mean, let's move on to glyphs right now. Really, man. Really, bro. That, that's You think that's how it works? I will, I, will not, I will not even use a fucking... Wait a second, bro. Wait. Oh, never mind. Just get the hell off me. You cannot kill me, bro. I mean... Uh, anyway. Uh... The glyphs that I'm using is the glyph of dazing uh, of Breath of Fire, which makes the all affected targets by Breath of Fire to get dazed. It's really important because it reduces some damage off you. Uh, glyph of for uh, Fortius for Spheres, it's also a good glyph. I mean, you can use better combination of glyphs, but these are glyphs that are free, and I forgot to buy glyphs, and these glyphs are awesome as free glyphs, so... I mean, I don't mind spending gold, just, you know, don't take me wrong, I, I don't care about gold, you know, but uh, these are the glyphs that are free and I forgot to buy glyphs and these are really actually important and useful glyphs. This glyph is good, this glyph is good because you're getting a free roll every time you kill an enemy and this is some free uh, healing sphere, a uh, glyph that will give you a healing sphere whenever you kill something or whenever you fall, actually whenever you fall below 25%, so these are the glyphs that I would like to go. Let's move on with talents now. Talents are Tiger Lust, Chi Burst, Chi Burst on Zen Sphere, I, I, I'm not really sure, whatever you, you prefer. Chi Burst is something that you need to stand and cast and it's uh, every 30 seconds, but Zen Sphere is constantly healing you every 10 seconds, uh, the cooldown is, and it's constantly healing you and it does AoE around you, so yeah. Ascension, I will go with Ascension because it gives me some uh, energy regeneration, uh, spirit, I don't know why spirit, but never mind, energy regeneration is important. Uh, chi, maximum Chi is good because you're stacking Chi with Rushing Jade Wind all the time. Leg Sweep is good because it's an AoE st uh, stun that you're, you can relieve some of the pressure uh, from you. Healing Alex is a really important thing as well because when you combine Purifying Brew with uh, Healing Elixirs, it heals you 50% of your maximum health, which is really good as well. And when you combine that with the Guard, it's uh, increasing the whole healing on you 30%, so it's also really awesome. Rushing Jade Wind with a 90 talent because it's constant AoE and it's really important for uh, finishing off some mobs to get heals from the trinkets. Alright, so um, this will be the this will be the talent and, and everything. The specialization of course Brewmaster. So uh, yeah, let's, let's move on with level. I'm I'm gonna actually run a stopwatch and see how much time I will need for to level one level from some point to some point. Maybe like I'll try to level up like 50% to just show you guys. So let's see. Actually, I'm gonna run the commercial. Uh, the commercial one. I'm gonna run the stopwatch now. Drink some potion. Uh, use guard. You see, I just used guard. Right. Uh, rushing jade wind, as I said, is a really important thing to have. I'm gonna use stun now to just stun them up a bit. There you go. Uh, chi burst was casted there. Expel harm as well. Expel harm is a healing column. You can just read the spells as I, as I dictate them. Right. And uh, yeah, dizzling haze is just dizzling the, uh, dazing the, the them, so it's releasing some pressure off you all the time. So you just run and cast rushing jade wind all the time, and that's how you get healed. I'm gonna use uh, guard here again because I'm getting, as you can see, I'm getting a lot of damage on me right now. And chi chi burst is coming up. 
There you go. Killed some targets with, the, with it. Expel harm. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna run with rushing Jade Wind on all the time on me. I, I'm not even buffed. I, I don't even have the monk buff right now on me. Keg smash. Bur uh, Breath of fire and just run. Expel harm. I'm waiting for it. Uh, using Purifying Brew, you see pu Purifying Brew, when you have Healing Elixirs on you as a buff, Purifying Brew is healing you 15% of your health, so... See, Rushing Jade Wind. Uh, I'm, I'm waiting actually for the respawn right now because I'm running too fast. What the fuck is this? Oh my god, dude. Oh, this guy is actually trying really hard to kill me. Bro, wait. Bro, do you realize who you're dealing with? Bro. Bro, what the fuck? Oh yeah, this guy is what level? 91. Is it 91? Yeah, 91 it is. Never mind. Well, this happens, guys. When you're streaming in front of 250 people right now, some people will try to snipe you whatsoever. So, uh, today the server transfer uh, with level one is not working, and right now I don't have anyone to invite me. Probably. Do you have anyone to invite me to another server? Wait. I just want to get rid of this fucker because, uh, you know, it's just a waste of time. Probably I can kill him. He just uh, catched me while I had like 20 mobs on me and he just finished me off, but... But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to... To another server now, I guess. <sighs> because of reasons. Alright then. Let's see. Probably got transferred. Did I? I got, I guess. I don't know though. I do not know though. Yeah, someone is whispering me. Just wanna let them know that I'm recording. Yeah, it's working, I guess, bro. It's working, man. I think. I'm not really sure. Yeah, uh, so what I'll just, you know, to save myself from explaining a lot, you know, or uh, doing the stopwatch since I died, uh, it's not really effective stopwatch, but I'm gonna run again, actually, to see how much, how much time I'll need. Uh, Lion Point Assassin, thank you for the follow, man. Welcome to the movies. How's it going, man? I'm gonna die here. Will I die here? No, probably not. Probably not. I'm a monk. I should not die. I will never die. I never surrender to these mobs. Alright. So, uh, I don't have stopwatch running on now, but I'm gonna use guard now, because I'm pretty low. And I will try to heal myself with chi burst, and I'm gonna stun them, actually, because of reasons. Alright, so... I'm 59%, I'm gonna run the sto stopwatch, and let's see how much time I'll need for 20%, and we're gonna make the calculation later. Actually. As you can see, expel harm, whenever you're below 35%, uh... Whenever you're 35%, uh... Whoa! Whoa! Wait! Wait! Uh, you have Expel Harm, you know, you can spam Expel Harm really much, you know. Uh, it's like no cooldown. The only thing probably you, you will, uh, you will have trouble with uh, when you're spamming Expel Harm is the actual uh, energy cost, because, yeah, energy... You require some energy for that thing to work. So yeah, expel harm always works. Anyway, you see, 91 uh, as level 91, you should not have that much struggle. But I'm uh, I'm getting whispered from a lot of people right now, and I'm kind of defocused. But let's try to focus now, guys. I will try to focus now to show you the real the real deal right now. Yeah, rushing Jade Wind all the time, guys. Rushing Jade Wound all the time. When you have Keg Smash, that's uh, the, the spell, Keg Smash, look in your spell book. When you have Keg Smash on, make sure to use it. Because that's really, really, really good spell. I'm gonna use Guard now. As soon as I have it, right? As soon as I fucking have it. Because I don't have it now. Okay, Keg Smash, use. Breath of Fire, use. Guard, Chi Burst, Purifying Brew. Uh, make sure to combine Purifying Brew with Guard, because as you can see, uh, 75% I got from, uh, from like, 30% to 75% just by using Purifying Brew. Look that spells, guys. You need, like, 5 spells. You need 5 spells as Monk to make this thing happen. Or maybe, I don't know, like, 8, let's say, 8 spells. Rushing Jade Wind, Cag Smash, 
Breath of Fire, Guard, Expel Harm, Chi Burst, and Purifying Brew. That's all that you actually need. I'm gonna use Chi Burst again, just to finish them off. And use some Breath of Fire and just continue. Continue doing this shit, right? How much... Oh, 76. How much time I needed for? 20%. 76%. Uh, uh, I'm on 14% 14, 14 right now, so... I'm pretty close to 20%. Probably will get that shit after this pool. And I'm not having rested experience, guys. If anyone's wondering, is he having rested? No, I, I'm not. So, I'm only using, like, uh, excess potion of accelerated learning, which gives me some... I'm gonna stun them all here, just to reduce some of the pressure with the uh, leg sweep. And as you can see, 75% all the time. It's not really hard, but as level 91, even the, the, the easiest class is ha having troubles. Monk is one of the easiest class, like rank 3, I would say. Uh, protection, uh, starting with Guardian Druid, uh, the easiest class. Then uh, Protection Warrior, the second easiest. Then Brewmaster Monk will be the third easiest. So that's my... Uh, how much you need? Like 3 minutes, 20%? No, 3 minutes for 24%. So you can calculate how much that goes for one level. 25, uh, so you can multiply that, that by 4. Yeah, now 4. If you multiply 3 minutes by 4, you need 12 minutes to level up from 91 to 12, uh, 92. And the more you go, it will be easier. As you can see, I'm really struggling sometimes to just do this properly. But as soon as you think like level 92, your heirlooms will scale, your spells will scale, you'll get an extra spell from it. Maybe I'll keep this video going on until I get like 92 to see what spell I will get actually from this thing. If I get Breath of Fire, that's a really good uh, empowered Breath of Fire spell, you know. Actually, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I just use Breath of Fire like shit. Right there. Do I have stun? Yeah, I have stun. Okay, so I'm gonna use another Breath of Fire and move on. Uh, Breath of Fire actually puts dot on these guys that are... Um, you know, these, these mobs are actually... Um, I'm gonna use Fortifying Brew because my health is going down quite some. Fortifying Brew is the, like, shield wall. So, yeah. Yeah, keep in mind these spells that I mentioned, guys. Just watch the video, like, two, three times if, if it takes uh, that much time. Because even if you spend, like, 30 minutes on watching this video all over again, it will, uh, at the end of the day, it will save you a lot, a lot more time than those 30 minutes. I'm gonna use Purifying Brew right now to, to remove some of the stagger. Uh, I don't know if you know how Monk works, but, you know, Monk is based on Stagger, um, uh, you know, Stagger. They don't take much damage, because they're staggering the damage, uh, and they're taking damage over time. So, Purifying Brew is actually removing all the staggers from you, and it's uh, considered as Brew. So, as soon as you have uh, uh, healing, healing Elixirs, as you can see right now, I have healing Elixirs. I'm gonna use Guard, because Guard is increasing the... Increasing the... The healing received, so I'm gonna use Purifying Brew right now. There you go, 80%. As you can see, I just got like 25% heal. So yeah, 95% right now, and let's see what spell I'm gonna get from this thing. So those are the basic stuff that, uh, you know, explaining how Monk works. Uh, yeah, but as I said, it's not really hard uh, class if, if you're not getting ganked. I mean, the first time I got ganked, and don't kill the rare, guys. Don't kill the rare, you know. It doesn't do much damage as people are over-fucking-reacting, right? The, the rare doesn't do much damage. What rare does is summoning mobs all, all, all the time. It's a spell called Cold Swarm. As you can see, the rare... Oh, I just got a level. Improved guard. Okay, so I got improved guard. Cool. What the fuck that means? Tell me. Improved guard. Oh, that's, that's the... I, I have, like, two stacks. Whoa, man. What the fuck? Oh, this guy's actually trying. This guy's fucking trying, bro. This guy's fucking trying. No, man. No, bro. Okay, so that's uh, that's how the, this leveling as Monk goes, guys. This guy's 94. I mean, really, go bro. Really, bro. You wanna you wanna fight me? I'm 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 gonna actually fucking kill this guy. Give him one second, guys. Okay, so this guy's not giving up. So I'm gonna show him the real fucking deal here. Okay, let's do this, bro. You wanna fight me? You wanna fight me, motherfucker? Let's do this, bro. Go to your mommy. Cry. Am I dodging much, bro? Am I fucking dodging much? Whoa. Why the fuck I did that shit? I don't even have all the bars in my in my action... I, it, I don't even have all the action bars in my bars, guys. You know. So, yeah. 
I'm gonna try to kill this guy just for you guys and then I'm gonna close the video and put it on YouTube just, you know, for fun. He will try to escape now. There's no running away, bro. There's no fucking running away. Don't even try to do that shit. Don't even try to do that shit on me, mate. No. Where the fuck you gonna go? There's no running away. Gook Rock? Of course Gook Rock, bro. Of course. I don't even know what the fuck that means, but... Whatever, bro. Where? You go, fucker. Anyway, guys. Uh, I just made this video to be, um, you know, to be education as much as I can. If I miss something or skip something, make sure to watch my other videos uh, of... Um, uh, for the other classes, because if I didn't mention about the cave leveling in this video, then I will men mention the... Uh, then I probably should have mentioned in the other video so um, yeah I mean yeah m m most likely I've mentioned in the other video so yeah guys uh, thank you for watching this video and uh, if you have any question about anything uh, any mechanic how monk works or something make sure to put them in the comments I'm trying to answer instantly every comment even if I if I'm streaming even if I'm doing anything just yeah and, and don't try to gank me guys, I'm not a fucking loser, right? I'm not a fucking loser. This arena master doesn't mean anything, but you know, just don't try to gank me like this. He's like four level, uh, no, sorry, two, three levels uh, above me and he was trying to do the shit on me. No, that's not working guys. But thank you for watching guys. If you liked the video, make sure to put a like there and uh, yeah, see you in the next one guys. There you go, my bro fist and Umbrenov.